How's it going guys? It's Ryder Knight, and today we're going to be playing a new game that I think you guys might be interested in, uh, you know, watching me play. It's also a fun game in general, so if you guys haven't played it, uh, check it out. But it is called Death Road to Canada. And what we're doing to start this out is I'm playing as two different characters. Uh, in my starting team we have Lee off of the Walking Dead uh, Telltale series, and we also have Clementine. So, we're going to be sending these two out into the wasteland, pretty much. Uh, we're playing with familiar characters, and I have a lot of familiar characters. Uh, I could do different characters if I feel like it. Uh, let's do Rick Sanchez and Morty. Alright, Rick and Morty, those are going to be our characters instead. But uh, I got a lot of characters I can choose from. Jake Paul, Logan Paul. Uh, the list goes on. I got a lot of characters. I'll just kind of flip through them so you guys can see most of them, but I have a, a lot of characters to choose from. So, there's going to be a lot of cool characters that we run into in this game, which I think is going to be really interesting. So, let's start it up. Rick Sanchez hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies. With nothing to gain from waiting around Florida, he decides to brave the death road and travel north. Some places are death traps. Read the zombie forecast before exploring the area. Hit the road. Might as well. And so the journey begins. To start the journey, the group must decide on a location. Let's see what we have to choose from. We can go to Yalmart, Quiet Hotel, House on the Road. I'm going to pick Yalmart because usually there's some pretty good stuff there. The group spots an abandoned Yalmart off in the distance. It looks like it's been looted. That's not a very good sign, but uh, maybe there is some untouched loot inside. Considering it's been looted, we're probably not going to find that much, but might as well go. Because we don't have anything at the moment. Uh, Rick has a broom, because that's going to be very useful in the zombie apocalypse. I'm going to switch the cane over to Rick, and I'm going to give the broom to Morty. Because we don't really care about Morty, he's just kind of here. And let's start the mission. Let's boogie. So we got a lot of zombies out here. And my can already broke. Go figure, but uh, let's go into Yalmart. Some bullets over here, let's grab those. There's also some food over here. And food is very important in this. Well, it's not super important. But it does help for your morale, which is pretty important. And I think you can starve if you don't have food in this game, but... I've never, I've never not had food that long, so I'm actually not sure if you can starve in this game or not, so I am not sure about that. Oh, there's an umbrella over here. Let's grab that. This will be uh, Rick's new weapon, an umbrella. There's a lot of food in here, so let's grab that. And there's gas, which we need gas for the vehicle. Gas is something I'm really bad at uh, having enough of. Same with, whoa, Jesus Christ. Watch out, Morty, we're not going to make it. Uh, you have to be very careful about zombies, because it only takes like three hits, and then we're dead. So, it doesn't take much to, uh, you know, kill your character in this game. Let's, uh, okay, okay, we're taking some heavy damage right now. Rick, stop, stop, Rick, run. Just, Rick, run. Hit the zombie. Okay, Rick, we got a... Morty ain't going to make it. <laughs> we've, we've already lost Morty. For the most part. I don't think Morty's going to make it. Okay, let's go this way. I like how we almost died right there. Let's grab this food. Let's go into this because I'm going to risk it. Uh, that's nothing important in there. Go over here, grab this food. Let's look for one more room in this place. There should be a door right here. And then we can uh, see if what's over here. Mostly just trash, so let's leave. And let's just leave the entire Yalmart. This was, again, very badly looted as we were already told by the loading screen, but it was still good to check it anyway. And then we have to floor it and run the zombies over, because why not? It's nearly time to camp, but there's been a lot of signs of bandits today. Someone needs to be awake in case of an attack. Who should stay up and watch? Uh, Morty can do it, because, uh, you know, who cares about Morty? Morty stands guard for the night. His morale decreases, and blah, blah, blah. We eat food. 
Let's continue on our journey to Canada. The group drives through a city that looks like it hasn't been completely overrun. You should look for supplies. All right, let's do it. The gun shop or the restaurant. Do we need food or weapons? I'm thinking weapons, but the gun shop doesn't seem very promising. I don't really like the guns in this game. I usually like to stick with a melee weapon. So since food is hard to get early on and we're going to need it for this journey anyway, I think the restaurant is going to be our best bet. So we're going to go to the restaurant instead. Let's boogie. Let's go into this building first. There's a lot of houses here, so we should be able to find weapons anyway. Let's go over here. Okay, there's some food inside. We're going to find a lot of food on this journey, I feel like. We found a med kit. That's actually pretty good. Uh, another thing that's kind of hard to find is med kits. I really struggle on finding them. And uh, you always need them, you know, when you least expect it, so. Okay, this zombie doesn't want to die. Die. Hit it with the mop. Or the broom, or whatever this is. Come on, Morty, let's go into this room. There's nothing in here. Okay, let's just leave. This place wasn't very good. Actually, there's a couple more doors. Let's check these, even though. Uh, what's the... Oh. Okay, we're taking some heavy damage. This is way too early on in the game to be taking this kind of damage, but oh well. Food, and can we find... Okay, ammo. It's not very good. Let's leave this building. And let's try to find the restaurant, which I believe should be down here. There it is. Curry to go. We're in India. Speaking of India, T-Series is losing the battle once again. So subscribe to PewDiePie or you're a normie. I don't know. Back on the road again. Going places that we've never been. All right. A bee flies into the car with the window open. It doesn't leave. It keeps flying right into the group's faces. This could be the biggest challenge yet. Uh, Rick Sanchez swats the bee. Morty Smith tells the bee to cool it. I think that one's going to be our answer. Morty tells the uh, the bee to cool it. The bee flies straight into Morty's mouth. He gets stung. It hurts a lot. You know what? It happens. All right, Morty. Suck it up and quit crying. Morty Smith whines incessantly about having to use the bathroom. Boo-hoo. Cry some more, Morty. Jeez. Morty snaps and starts yelling insults at Rick. Rick yells back and turns in this into a huge fight. Can you just calm down, Morty? Can you just cool it for five seconds? As the group explores a campsite, they are ambushed by bandits. Great. They demand all of our weapons. Yeah, as if we had any weapons to begin with. Let's just give them the weapons. Who cares? You can have the, the destroyed sticks for all I care. Morty accidentally slams his hand into the car door. In anger, he gets out and kicks a tire, stubbing his toe. This makes him blow a gasket. Morty is hurt. Morty needs to calm down. I don't even like him in my team anymore. Outside of Canada, most of society is destroyed, but we can find Canada uh, when we get there, I guess. Okay. All right, we found a trader camp. Let's go over there. Check it out. Oh, great. This is a... A be beautiful trading camp. This is exactly... Is this what it's like in Canada? I really hope so. Morty, are you okay? Morty. Come on, Morty. We have to get out of here. I don't know if Morty made it. Is Mor I think Morty's dead. I think we've lost Morty. Oh well, we didn't need him anyway. I doubt Canada will be any better than here. Why are we going on this uh, journey? Rick is hurt. He crashed the car, are you kidding me? It's like the worst luck I've ever had in this game. Whoa, it's Hitchhiker Hal. Damn, we gotta bring Hitchhiker Hal with us. He's gonna really be important to this strategy of getting to Canada. Hitchhiker Hal has joined the party. Okay, so there's a city up ahead that's pretty much covered with hordes of zombies. 
And now we have to go through the sewers, which is very difficult. We're going to have to risk it all. We're not going to make it. We're going into the sewers. This is pretty much the end of us. Rick, you're going to fight with a parking meter and a nail board and a rebar, because why not? Hitchhiker, you can just have what you have, I guess. Rick, let's go into this place. Alright. We are in the sewer. I don't know if Hitchhiker Hal is going to follow us or not, but, uh... Might as well just ditch him at this point, because, uh... It's every man for himself getting through this place. Ooh, there's food here. Oh my goodness, look at all those zombies. Is Rick not going to make it? Rick already looks really injured. I don't know if he's going to make it or not. Alright, let's just book it out of this door. I don't think Rick's going to make it. Just saying. It's really dark in here. I can't find the way out. Just keep running. We'll f oh, there it is, right there. We found the ladder out. Thank goodness. Let's get out of here. Is Hitchhiker Hal still with us? I think we lost Hal. <laughs> he didn't make it. Uh, Rick feels inspired after managing to survive that. Well, he should feel good, but uh, we just lost Hitchhiker Hal, so maybe not the best uh, you know time to be in a good mood. But that maybe that's just my opinion. Even in the post-apocalypse, I hate Mondays. Dang. While driving on the death road, Rick decides to make a stop for supplies. Well, we definitely need supplies, but should we go to these terrible places? I really don't want to. The junkyard most likely has gas, which would help us out. The burning house, probably not very safe. Let's go to the junkyard. Why not? Might as well. Let's explore the junkyard. There's some food over there I saw. Let's go grab that food real quick. We need more people to join us on our quest because we don't really have too much left. And Rick might die at any second. He's not very... There's a lot of food here in this junk dump. Why is there so much food here? I mean, I'm not I'm not getting mad at that. I'm pretty happy that we're finding food, but it's still kind of strange to be finding this much food here. Let's go over here, grab these rebars because these will help us out way more than all the nail board trash that we had. There's a junkyard dog. Let's uh, recruit the dog. Okay, the dog has officially joined the party. And we've named the dog Thad. Welcome to the party, Thad. Let us look for more items. Alright, let's just open this dumpster and book it. Come on, Thad, let's go in the car. Alright, we survived. We found a lot of food, though, which was good, so I guess that is one good thing about that. Thad catches up with Rick Sanchez at a safe spot. He seems like he wants to stick around. Recruit Thad to the team, because why not? Onward to Canada. Out for a little bit. Whoa, it's Logan Paul. It's nice to see a familiar face out there. He's eating a candy bar. Those things still haven't gone bad. Trait, frantic whiner. Might as well recruit him to the team at this point. Welcome to the team, Logan. Let's go to Canada. Bandits are guarding the bridge up ahead. They might want your stuff. Uh, Thad says, take a detour. Rick Sanchez says, let's jump it. We can refuse and fight or give in to the demands. Uh, let's Let's just jump it. Might as well at this point. The slow car immediately flips upside down and erupts into flames, not even clearing the obstacle. Rick, Rick is dead, 
And Thad is hurt. Logan is also... No, they're all dead. Everybody's dead. <laughs> Rick Sanchez's plan to jump the bridge didn't work out very well. We all died in the process. But overall, that is how stories go. I am Raider Knight, and that was the video. With no one left, the journey to Canada has ended. Alright. Quality video. Rick got us all killed. Curse you, Rick. Never forget. And I'll see you all for the next one. Peace.